Okay. <laughs> This is Prince Harrison, Happy being NPC promoter. We're here at the gym at the corner of Trinity Mills and Midway. We want to always thank the gym for allowing us to use our facility. They have graciously allowed us to do videos here as well as photo shoots. And we're here today with big, big, big. <laughs> can we say that? <laughs> it's loud. It's loud. All right. I am. Harold, the Black Beast, Bright. <laughs> yes, Harold has competed for several years, and I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about that. What was your first show, Harold? Actually, now that I have you here, and for all the people out there who want to know, my first show was this man's right here, Prince Harrison. He is the actual reason I got started, because honestly, I didn't see myself standing on a stage in my underwear. And uh, Sheila Brown saw me in a gym one day training a client, and she said, I have somebody that I want you to meet. And I asked, what was this in reference to? And she said, well, it's in reference to bodybuilding. Right away, I thought, nah, me on a stage in my underwear, no can do. Then after about 10, 20 minutes of sitting down talking to him, he made me feel like I was going to be the next Arnold. So I said, why not? And here I am. Well, Harold, that's something I did not know. I'm, I feel I feel good about that. That's great. And uh, but you did find out you couldn't wear boxers on stage. Yes. So, yes. so, so but uh, tell us when that was. How long ago was that? Actually, this was back in two thousand and four. And you certainly have grown a lot since then. Now, of course, everybody wants to know. I'm not going to ask you how much you bench. That's always a <laughs> popular question. But I think uh, that. In terms of the relevance of the sport, it's, it's more important, of course, your symmetry, a very good symmetry, muscularity, and your conditioning is very good. You just did the Ronnie Coleman on March 31st, and you went on to do the Junior USA. So tell us how you did in those shows. Well, for the Ronnie Coleman, I placed first and because it was a national qualifier, it allowed me to participate in the Junior USA's. And in the Junior USA's, I took second in the Super Heavyweight. Great, and how much do you, what, how tall are you and how much do you weigh? Funny story, when I first did your show, I weighed 218 pounds. Now, if you can picture me being six foot one at 218 pounds, yeah, I was, uh, needless to say, a beginner. Currently, um, I weigh 265 pounds. My competition weight is about 259. And uh, next year, that'll be 270 pounds competition weight. That is great. Well, you certainly have made some great improvements. And I want the audience also to go to the Alpine Fitness channel, which you're, which you're on if you're looking at this, and check out the workout video we're doing with Harold today in the gym. It's, it's, it's impressive. And after this interview, he's going to go back and do a little more, right? A little tricep workout. I'm going to finish. I started with chest. I did a little bicep work. And now that I've caught my second wind, I'm going to go ahead and finish the tricep. Needless to say, um, I'm just finishing. It's three days out from the Junior USA's, and I haven't quite gotten back up to speed yet, so I needed a little breather. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish my triceps. Great. Yeah, he just finished the Junior USA, and the goal is to go back there next year, yes. right? The goal is to go back there next year and claim what's mine, which is first place, super heavyweight, and the overall. Also, I want to mention that he's repping our workout shorts. These are available online or by calling our office, OptimumFitness.com. And up and coming is the Long Star Classic, which I'm inviting you to right now as a guest. I will be more than happy to attend. Great. That's on June 16th at the Music Hall at Fairport. Thanks for your time, Harold. It's uh, great to see you develop over the years and you're making some really good progress and looking forward to seeing you on the pro stage in the near future. And thank you for the inspiration. You're welcome. I think human flesh might even taste good if you put enough ketchup on it.